Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how to import a transition Canvas course template into your uh, Canvas course and that way it'll make it a little easier to make the transition from your on-ground class to your online course. Alright, so I know that's a lot to take in but we'll just do it step by step. So once you log into Canvas you will see these course cards on your dashboard or one for your course whichever your course is and the one I am have that I'm concerned about is my spring 2020 course the, the rest of these I just ignore those so this one is currently empty if I click on it you'll see it's empty and it's got a lot of things on the left it's kinda of confusing to me and my students and all of that so what I want to do is populate that with this uh, template course. To do that, I'm going to go to the left, and this is the global navigation, and go all the way down to the word Commons. And we are going to click on Commons. And this is an area where we can import content that is shared on the Commons. So what we're going to do next is click inside this search bar we're gonna type WLAC and transition and actually I don't even have to write the whole sentence out it pops up right away and here it is it's the WLAC transition course template so we will click on this that's the next step and this is going to give you a little overview of what's inside, but we will see this in more detail later. And if we click on details, it'll explain what it is. It's a basic course template. Editing is required. Contains the basic course structure, weekly module approach to deliver an online class. Each module has the same structure. You have a class overview, content, which is like reading or handouts, assignments, and discussions, and a summary. So it's a nice little framework to get you where you want to go quicker. So the next step is on the far right, you're going to see this blue button that says Import Download. You're going to click on that button, and then you're going to see a list of all of your courses are different than mine but you're gonna want to click on the spring 2020 courses that you have you can click on more than one if you want and then this button turns blue and that is the import into course which we're going to select so that's it now the course is being imported into that class so if we give it a minute and then we go back to our dashboard when in doubt, click Dashboard in the, this, this list here. That's going to take us back here. And if we wait a little longer, and now when we click into our course, and remember this was empty a minute ago, we now have a lot of different stuff in here. So this is a home page that came with it. Um, we can edit this home page to make it a little more personal. They've, they have a... a They've, they've told us to put up the college logo. I might add that for you. And then a course title. So to edit anything in Canvas, you just look for the edit button up here. Everything kind of works the same. So if I wanted to, I could click on edit. And I think you want to take out anything that's written in red. You don't want your students seeing college logo here. But here I could write English 101, whatever your course is and just keep it simple you know and there we go and then if I wanted to I could add a welcome message below uh, they've made some suggestions you'll want to take out anything that they have added so you can edit this as many times as you want and they have a syllabus here is some information on how to use the syllabus as an instructor. This is going to link to the Canvas instructions. And otherwise, you can copy and paste a syllabus right in here. And again, all you have to do is click on Edit. And then you can highlight everything, delete it, 
paste in your syllabus and then click the blue update syllabus button over here. You can even upload your syllabus if it's a Word document. Um, I can show you how to do that really quick. You would just click inside this editor. This is called the editor. And on the right, you can select files, upload a new file, and then browse. And that's going to open up your window where you can navigate to where your um, syllabus document is. So if, we, if it's on your desktop, you can click desktop and search for it here. Um, I'll just uh, use this as an example. So here's a Word document. We'll pretend this is my syllabus. If I double click on it, then you can read it over here. All you have to do next is click upload. And it's going to pop up here and it'll turn blue. And then again, you always want to click the blue button when you're done. Update syllabus. And now I have my syllabus up here for my students. If they click on this, it'll download to their computer. If they click this little magnifying glass, it'll actually open up in Canvas and give them a preview. Uh, we won't wait for it to do that. You'll just take my, oh, there it is. There it is. So you can, ha you can just upload your syllabus really easily if you want or not. You don't need to if you don't want to. Next, we're going to move to the modules. And modules is kind of where your students will go to see everything that's in your class. And again, you're just going to want to go through these things one by one and edit them. And you can edit the title if you don't like week one. I, I know a lot of us aren't in week one. We're in week four or five, whatever it is. You can go to the right and click these three dots. And that'll let you choose edit, which is the top one. Then you just can click in here and change it from week one to week four, or you can call it unit five, whatever you want to name it to, you can. And then simply click that blue button again that updates the module. I'm not going to do that right now, but I just wanted to show you how. So I suggest starting at the top and moving your way down uh, the list. So you might not want this kind of stuff, uh, this introduction stuff. If you don't want any of this, um, if you think it's overkill, you can just go to the right here next to this, the title of the module, which is in the gray box. And if you go to the right and click on that green check, that unpublishes it and hides it from your students. So even though the items within the module, that's these the home page and all of these items even though those have a green check because they're inside a module that is unpublished your students will not be able to see this stuff so it's a quick way to hide it from your students right so if you do want to use this leave it published and then go one by one in these items and edit them uh, we're gonna move to the week one module this is where I'm gonna start I'm not gonna use this uh, introduction one. I might later, but for now I just want to get to the, the stuff, the, the most critical information, which is my uh, the work that we're in. So I'm going to start with this overview page, and if you click on it, you can see what they've added and, and read this, and they're, they're explaining. So what, what they want you to do is type the topic that's going to be covered, and you can fill in this stuff so what your class normally would be covering in the week they want you to provide the students with some objectives again this is up to you if you want to do it their way or not um, and then they have a schedule here again this this might be too much information uh, keep it simple you know you could tell them read chapter one watch this video and then turn in an assignment or something like that. Whatever you have have them do. And then uh, again, to edit this, you just click on edit. And then you can change this information. And again, if you have all this on a Word document, you can just simply delete everything, highlight everything and delete it and upload a file just like we did with the syllabus. Or you can just type it in this box. 
and if you wanted to add a video for them to watch you can click on this V here V for videos that's going to open up all of these film libraries that West is a member of and if you wanted to, them to watch a, a YouTube video you can click on YouTube and search for a YouTube video right uh, it's really easy to add stuff you just type in a little phrase here and because this is a an English class I was gonna look for a, something about grammar for instance and here you could you could again blue button that's your friend you can just find the video you want and click on embed and that's automatically going to put that video in canvas so you could instruct your students to watch this video that's just an example I'm just gonna leave it blank for now and then you can go back to modules if you want and then move on to the next one there's also if you want to navigate one by one instead of always going back to modules once you've saved your changes to these pages you can just simply click next which will take you to the the next item in the module and move down the list so this is really nice now we've gotten to an assignment and again this template tells you what pretty much what to do and it gives you directions here so um, if you've never worked on an assignment in canvas you can always uh, look here and uh, oh, this is more the students student guide for instructions on submitting assignment assignments but I'll, I'll kind of go over it really quickly here again you're gonna click on edit and you start at the top and move your way down you can rename this assignment if you want I could call this essay 2 and then you could take out this red and fill in the blanks I could say I want a hundred word uh, essay on any topic you can just write in the description directions here it says how to students complete and submit it okay be as clear as possible so um, I'm just gonna write upload your uh, essay and then you can scroll down start again just move top to bottom points you can add the point value if you want uh, I would just skip over assignment group skip over all this display grade as submission type this is important they're going to be submitting their work online currently it's uh, going to accept a file upload which is a document a word document or a PDF um, if you want you can also add text entry and that means the students can just type in the uh, the essay right in a box right in canvas so I'm gonna let them do that again I want to make this as accessible as possible I'm gonna change my teaching style in a way um, I'm not gonna be as critical with formatting and things of that nature just because of the situation I, I just want to see that the students are getting getting it um, you have some other options here plagiarism review I won't get into that but that's an option if you want you can select unicheck and that'll run the papers through a plagiarism checker again that's a bell and a whistle and what we're focused on is keeping it simple so I'm not gonna put that plagiarism review on right now and then here at the bottom I'm gonna skip group assignment I don't want to make this more complicated I'm gonna skip peer reviews we'll keep it simple again and here this is an important box this is the assigned to box right now everyone in the class is getting it I'm not gonna to touch that um, you can add a due date if you'd like by clicking this calendar and pick a due date and if you want to not accept late submissions you need to make the until date the same as the due date otherwise it'll let students submit after the due date so I'm gonna make this a hard due date make it the same date 
quick done. So this is going to be due around midnight on March 27th. And then the available from date, this is the open date for this assignment. I'm going to make it open today, right now. So there we go. So now I've kind of set up my, uh, my first assignment here. And once you've filled everything in, you can then click this blue button. Again, always click the blue buttons, whether it says update or save, etc. You're going to click on that when you're done. I'm not going to do that now, but I just wanted to show you. And just a heads up, everything in this template site is published. That means everything is visible to your students. So you want to make sure that you fill in everything delete anything you don't want to use uh, before you actually publish the course for your students. So again, I'm not going to go through every element here. They have discussions. Again, discussions work almost like assignments. So if you have a weekly discussion, you can again click on edit and then basically type what you want your students to discuss. This might be uh, a prompt saying please watch this video and give your thoughts on this uh, uh, you know how would you interpret this video and you know and then please re reply to one of your classmates so um, it's nice that they've left this canvas student guide with the instructions on replying to discussions and submitting assignments I would definitely leave that in when you uh, add your content uh, leave this little instruction for your students. Uh, that'll help them out if they're not familiar with Canvas. And then one thing I want to also say is that you have help always available 24-7. If you go to the left and click on this little help button here, you'll see all these phone numbers. The one that you want is this 24-7 Canvas access. And basically this is for you and your students should you have any questions about Canvas. Uh, tech support this is this is for canvas for any other questions not involving canvas you can contact the college but for for specific canvas questions you want to call this number and right now our office is a bit overwhelmed so we're encouraging you to call canvas whenever possible uh, just because there's only a few of us in the office and they have a whole army of people <laughs> they've ramped up to uh, help you out so they're very kind and, and uh, nice people so once you've kind of gone through this course and and edited it to yours you know the way you want to deliver the material you can then publish the course and that's what's going to uh, allow your students to get in to publish the course you can click home at the top in this list here and on the far right you'll see course status you'll want to click publish and that's gonna turn it green and now my students can get into this course and you don't have to worry about um, your students being added into canvas they're automatically go going to be in canvas um, the district's done that step for you. So this is just a way to have a template, an outline that you can fill in that'll maybe make the structure a little easier uh, for you to uh, get your content online and transition online. Uh, again, we're always here to help you as best we can. And uh, that Canvas helpline is really valuable. So um, I hope that covered everything. I know I'm probably missing something, but um, that's all I wanted to give you in this video. Uh, please attend as much training as you can. Um, there's also Canvas tutorials over here that'll link that might help you out. So thanks for watching.